What's up, YouTube? What it do, LHM? I'm Keish, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we back with Mafia University, baby. We back with another episode of Mafia University. Today, I want to talk about how do you get your subscribers to grow. Last time I told you, we did, uh, I told you don't do shorts for short, short, sub for sub. That's what we talked about the last time, or two videos ago. It was about sub for sub. Do not, it was about how sub for sub does not help. So today I actually want to give you a little insight about what you can do to actually build your um build your channel up from subscribers to watch hours to shit just everything all together because the more you the more time you get the more subscribers you get the more your channel is going to grow. So first thing I want to say if you want to build your subscribers fast look into doing shorts. Shorts is the quickest way to build up your subscribers. Shorts does not build up your hours. I repeat this again. Shorts do not build up watch time hours. Only long form videos build up watch time hours. So if you are trying to get subscribers, shorts are the best way to do it. Like if you're Like, growing on YouTube, people be like, man, it's so hard, it's so hard, it's so hard, this, that, and the third. But honestly, if you commit yourself and you continue and be consistent with it, like, it's really not that hard. It's just going to start flowing. I'll tell you this. Another trick, the quickest trick to getting your watch hours to go up is to go live. Like, going live and depending on the topic you're live about, you will gain, I think I had one of my recent live videos. It was a hair video I did. That went up 22K views. That's the type of views that YouTube looking for when it comes to watch hours. Like that, that's going to run your shit up quick. So if you're trying to get your hours up and you're trying to get your channel to grow, like don't think about doing shorts. Shorts are cool when it comes to subscribers. But when you're trying to get your channel up, go do a live video. If you got the live option open right now, like start doing live videos and start making your titles on your live videos something that's catchy, something that you know like people gonna always go to. Like when I go, I go live, I play, I either do gaming lives, I do talking lives, I do hair lives. Like I just do, when I'm on live, I do anything that I, it's always in the moment of what I'm doing. So, if you're looking to build your channel up, build your subscribers a quick way, because that was the whole segment about the video, just a quick way to do things. Like if you trying to build your shit up quick, bruh, I'm telling you, go up, go, start doing live videos. I would say that'd be like find a niche. I know, I know sometimes like it can be hard to, you know, find your place or find what you want to make videos about, but that's why you go live. Like, I'm telling you. Go live to build your watch hours up. To build your shorts. I mean, to build your subscribers. Go do you some shorts. Then, I feel like come back. After you got a great amount of them two started and flowing. And you got a good amount of people from your live video who going to automatically come back and watch. Then you go and you start dropping vlogs and shit. Because by then... The people from the live, they gonna already be expecting you to come. They gonna already be, they know who you are just off the live. I feel like that's the quickest way for people to get to know you. Quickest way for you to be understood. Quickest way for you to be seen. Like, going live is the one thing that I recommend. I don't know if nobody ever told y'all, but like, that is definitely a go-to thing. You go live, you create shorts. But shorts don't give you watch time. Like, shorts do not give you that watch time. <coughs> Excuse me. Shorts give you everything else but watch time. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna get... And the crazy part is... <coughs> Excuse me. Crazy part is, when you get monetized, YouTube require you to... Well, when you get monetized, it's then based off the views you get. So, let's say your vlog and videos not getting as many views. Well, then you go implement your shorts because your shorts will get you paid. Those 
thousands of views from your shorts are going to get you paid. The thousands of views from your live, that's going to get you paid. Like, it's just, once you start understanding YouTube and how each number works and how it comes and how it's being ranked or how your videos rank, how categories and topics are ranked, you'll really start tapping more into, all right, I know this category or this topic is going to produce, is going to bring a lot of people, right? For instance, you do an A and P video, right? You know A and P is really one of the hottest guy groups out right about now. So, you do any type of A and P video is guaranteed to get you some views. Whether it's going to be a lot or a little is guaranteed. That, and I'm speaking as in, you know, reacting to it or something. Or let's say you do a short and you do a, a maybe a green screen or a duet or some shit like that. But your video is going to is going to go farther just because you featured it. Find other way like when it comes to shorts, you really gotta find other ways. You could get on there and do your little TikTok dances and shit, but YouTube wants you to use their music. And that's what's crazy about it. YouTube wants you to use their short system as if it was a TikTok system. You get what I'm saying? Like Excuse me. You YouTube wants you to make shorts like people make TikToks and reels and stuff like that. But then you realize, all right, let's say I take me a TikTok video and I bring it to YouTube. Boom. Yeah, it's gonna help my subscribers grow. It might give me it might give me a uh the views I'm looking for, but it's probably going to give you a copyright because it's coming from TikTok. So it's going to get a copyright. Now, you done did all this work, you done got all this shit off of it, and boom, you don't make no money. What's the whole point, right? So that's why I said, when you do shorts, mm, you could do duets and shit, but make sure you do your shit through the YouTube app. YouTube is a system in itself. And once you start, once, once you start to realize that, and analyze how they system works amongst any other platform, like, bro, you'll, you'll be winning. For real. Like, it really took me a whole lot of research, a whole lot of fail, errors, like, trials and tribulations just to get to this point right here. And I would recommend, if anybody doing YouTube, don't give up on that shit. Keep fucking going. Because when you think it ain't finna hit, it's gonna hit. And I, you can't, you can't just be like, oh, I, I gotta figure out a topic, I gotta do this. It doesn't matter. People's going, people are going to watch. If you give them information that they want to be intrigued in, or you give them information that can help them, people are going to watch. There are people are going to, people going to, um, people going to take your advice. They're gonna watch. They're gonna come back and they're gonna watch again. Yeah, this was episode three. We got episode three in the books. This one was about just build ways to build up your channel, ways to help your channel grow. Remember, go live and do you some YouTube shorts, but do the YouTube shorts through the YouTube app. But when you go live, I'm telling you, give your title something that you know people are going to watch. Like it's going like like YouTube going to it's a niche in YouTube. Like hair, hair is a top thing. So whenever I whenever I do my hair or I wash it, I cut it or whatever, I make sure I go live and I display that because that is something that people are going to gravitate to quick. And at the same time, I got 4C hair, so it's even more quick. You get what I'm saying? When you go live, you name them titles. Because I, all right, I got one. Let's say I just, when you first go and say blah, 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 is live. And if you leave it at that, then there's a chance that your channel's not going to, you know, get the views that you wanted to. But in in my in my in my title, in the title part, I always include hashtags like viral shorts, you know, shit that I've always been saying. Every live video should have hashtags in it. As far as shorts, because <clears throat> Shorts got, live got this thing, it's called a vertical live. 
I don't know if y'all know, but it's called a vertical live. And you can use a streaming platform, which is what I'm using now, or you can go live from your phone, and that's a totally different thing. Like, I feel like next episode I should get into more in depth into that streaming platform versus mobile. Like, I think that'll be a a good course, to, a good course. But like, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments down below. I appreciate everybody for watching, rocking. It was a Carmex or something on this thing. Appreciate everybody for watching, rocking. I hope this helped everybody out a little bit. If you got your live, if you if they unlocked your live, start going live. And I know people be like, man, I'm, I'm live on TikTok and this that. No, that YouTube is its own platform. You have to do this shit and pick topics, pick titles when you go live. Like I feel like live gets you the views, gets you the hours. It gets you the subscribers. Like I, I feel like it gets you everything that YouTube is asking you for. But it gets it to you so much quicker. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments down below. If y'all have questions, comments, concerns, y'all drop them in the comment section. I appreciate everybody for watching, rocking. Mafia University, this is episode three. The best way to grow your channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Peace.